I think the guide is a good way of getting people interested and excited about uh, forest genetic resources. I think one of the th problems sometimes with teaching about uh, forest genetic resources is we open the book and the first page is full of equations and people get frightened of it. So we haven't tried to create a tool that would be used specifically to train a whole new generation of geneticists. What we're trying to do is give tools for the people, ordinary forestry students, ordinary biology students, natural resource, ecology students, so that they can see to the subjects that they're studying that there is a genetic component, there's a genetic issue, and if that's completely ignored, they're missing something from their understanding of the environment, of the ecosystem. Uh, what we've tried to do is make a flexible education tool that can be slotted into existing courses. So a particular teacher might say, OK, I'm doing this particular part of the course is about forest management. Oh, this particular case study is really interesting because it will allow me to expand the depth of what I'm teaching about in terms of forest management and deal with a few particular issues that are relevant, have a genetic aspect to them, but are placed in the wider context of forest management. We'd love to hear what you think of the materials, what you found that works, what you think doesn't work, and how you think they could be improved. Because one of the things is, this is material that can be downloaded and we will be able to update it. So rather than it being printed in a, in a book we can't change the idea, again it's flexible not only in the way you teach it, but we can start to update it and we can start to um, put in new modules, different case studies. So again that's part of the flexibility is in the ability to respond and change things as time go on.